Roxanne Perez versus Mandy Rose. So, uh, man, they got this thing over with. I don't know if you guys heard. Mandy had a week. Yeah. So, listen. <laughs> it sucks because I've been making jokes about how I was not enjoying her title reign and how long it felt like. It felt like her title reign was longer than Roxanne Perez has been alive. But then she lost her title. And when I heard the news, she lost her title. But okay, they did a surprise title change to Papa Rating. Not a big deal. And then there's a lot of chatter. And I'm like, what's going on? And uh, then, of course, the, 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 I don't know if the news broke that night, but the news broke the next day she was gone. So they spent the better part of a year, maybe more than that, having her come out and tell me that she's nothing more than eye candy. Then her side hustle is being eye candy. They find out that while she's going on TV and talking about being more than eye candy, she's actually making some eye candy. This makes them mad because they want her to be eye candy, candy, but not that much kind of eye candy. Well, 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 hold on a second. All right. So she had a site. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was, you know, bikini shots and everything like that. Huh. And uh, it was, I would say, you know, PG 13. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. But it was, you know, it was PG 13. Right. And they knew about it. And, you know, I, I've heard all day today, like, Ah, oh, another WWE don't like people making money. It had nothing to do with that. They knew about the site. They had known about it for a long time. Okay? Now, there was a obviously a subscription aspect to it. And I don't know exactly how this... I, I, I have not actually been on this site. Okay? I I don't know exactly how it worked, but there were, there were subscription options or mm-hmm. whatever. And... Uh, and she started to uh, to get more and more risque, okay? All right. And the thing was, you know, from from what I have been told, she knew that it would be a bad thing if they found out how risque she was getting. All right. Because she was asking people, like, every now and then she would do something, and then, like, a screenshot of it would appear on the internet somewhere. Sure. And so she was asking people, like, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, WWE should not, I don't think, you know, mm-hmm. they're they're going to hear about this. So, uh, ultimately, like, they heard about it. Sure. And it was, uh, I mean, we're talking, we're talking risque. Adult-themed. I mean, you know... We were getting to the point where, I mean, this was this was not PG. No, okay? no, no, no. Uh, and so when they found out about that, it was like this is not gonna, this is not gonna fly. That's okay. They're fine. Uh, not disputing any of that. But I, <laughs> all I know, all I know for sure is, I was told that she was not just eye candy, and in fact, she was being eye candy, and apparently decided. That being eye candy, or making eye candy, if you prefer, was uh, worth risking her wrestling career for. And uh, for, well, she's not wrestling for WWE right now, but she's still making eye candy. So she was eye candy. Well, I mean, there's there's still things that we don't know for sure, All okay? Right. Like, you know, when, when WWE found out about it, it was very clearly like this, I mean, we got to get the title off her immediately, okay? <clears throat> so... That this was going to take place on the January 10th or whatever. Yes. And Roxanne, I'm sure, was going to win January 10th. Or if she didn't, she was going to win at the Valentine's Day show or whatever. So, I mean, Mandy was going to lose the title one way or the other. But, you know, Mandy was making a lot of money okay. on this side gig. Yeah. And uh, I, I'd heard from people that she was making more on the side gig than she was making... Utterly believable. ...in WWE. I've, yeah. And uh, you know, let's 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 think about this for a second. So she was released on Tuesday, and all day Wednesday, all that was reported was she was fired because her site became significantly more risque. I don't know nothing, but I would guess that she made a lot of money on Wednesday. Oh, I bet. And got a ton of subscribers. Yes, yes. And uh, you know, uh, there's there's a decent chance that she's not devastated. No. And uh, Listen. she's going to be making a lot of money. Yeah. 
And at some point when, if it, you know, the time comes where she's not making that kind of money, I'm sure that she could go back to wrestling. Maybe not easily back to WWE. There's but, a lot of promotions out there. You right know, now. if she, uh, you know, if this blows over and she decides to shut the thing down and mm-hmm. and such and such, I mean, I don't think it's impossible they would bring her back. I mean, you know, there are people that are in AEW that have done stuff like this, and they're they're employed. So you know, I think that, uh, quite frankly, more power to her right now. Amen. Make your money now. Mm-hmm. Doing what's making the money. Yes. And, uh, you know, when it's not making that kind of money, if you want to go back to wrestling, go back to wrestling. But you're, you're clearly happy with the site and the direction it's going. And it's profitable for you. It's safer than pro wrestling. <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're a better fit for, for that line of work. That's great. That's wonderful for you. I'm happy. So uh, they had a match. It wasn't very good. I'm sure her heart wasn't in it. And... Uh, I couldn't help but notice, uh, Roxanne's got this kick she does, where it's a reverse roundhouse thrust kick to the body. And uh, when she hits it, she does this kind of delayed spin and almost like a hesitation, and then really snaps the thrust of the kick in, so it looks great. But when she misses it, it just looks like a slow, underwater, untalented, unbalanced, unathletic move. She needs to work look better when she's missing the kick where it's blocked or whatever. Other than that, they just had a random NXT women's match. Like I say, it wasn't very good. In the end, Roxanne hit the kick, which looked good, and she hit her pop rocks and won. And uh, she was on the verge of tears. Booker T, of course, trained Roxanne. Noted she's a former ROH champion, the first ROH champion, he says. Uh, I'm sure they did not smarten him up. They may have, but he was uh, very proud of his student when she got the win. And uh, we see a fan basically doing the Undertaker fan face. He can't believe Mandy Rose's title reign has ended. And Mandy was eh, not thrilled. Not thrilled to not be champion anymore. And uh, the show ends with Booker T cackling like a movie villain. Because <laughs> Roxanne won. Well, I'm very happy to see Roxanne as champion. Should have been champion a long ass time ago. Yes. She should have won she's the title. She's the best wrestler on this roster. Right when she division. came in. And uh, yeah, she's, she, unless something goes horribly wrong, I mean, she's a lock for the main roster. They need... Great working women, and she is great. She's only 21. She's young. Everything they want right there. So good for her. And uh, that's NXT, everybody. Yeah. It did have its highs, and it had its Oh, lows. God, it had its lows. The Damn. WWE legendary joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> 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 Why Grin. were Gene Erkerlund's... Pants always so angry. Erkerland? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. Glamazon. That's what I said! <laughs> what? No, you said Gramazon. No, I said oh. Glamazon. Oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.